What's up beautiful souls and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you your energy reading for this upcoming week. So let's see what we got. When I tuned into the energy for whoever's tuning in, remember this is a general reading so it will not apply to everyone. Uh, but just take whatever you need. When I started to tune in, I started to feel very foggy, very like unclear or unsure. Um, like there was a lot on my mind, a lot of things happening. The energy was just like either confusing or all over the place. <clears throat> and I feel like I have to say something or I want to do something or I want to approach someone, but I don't know how to use either the right words or there's something with the concept. I'm hearing the concept. There's something with the concept uh, and, and bringing that concept into the reality that's kind of either um, lacking some either experience or extra information or there's something still needed to be at. So I kind of feel like you. this will not be a great week to, um, I think, make very like big decisions, especially when you feel foggy about which direction to move into when it comes to that decision. Uh, when I tuned into the energy, what I saw was I saw owls. Like, do you know Harry Potter, Harry Potter, the movie where all the owls come flying in and they drop all these like letters and gifts for all the, all the wizard students? Well, that was what I was feeling. And some people got like scream messages. Like if you saw the movie or read the book, there, 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 so this, 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 they have these these letters and and people can like scream through these letters and these letters start talking and screaming to the person um i love harry potter i'm a big harry potter fan i like the books more than i did like the the movies but i like the movies pretty well they were good but uh yeah if you saw the movie you have some visual of this now <laughs> But that was what I saw. I saw some people getting some, a lot of us getting messages, getting information. And some of us getting scream letters. So some of us have some communication coming towards them that's unpleasant or unkind. <clears throat> Long overdue, I hear. For some of you, you might have been, it might have a connection with someone that is uncomfortable or is going to be uncomfortable or a little bit like, you're like, mm, you could have gone about this in a totally different way. You could have approached me or could have asked. Like somebody's fed up. Somebody's fed up. So it could either be you that is fed up with someone. And you will be delivering the screams, the, the releasing of all the energy upon your opponents. That's what I want to say. Upon your person, upon somebody. Um, or you could get this energy from someone else uh, but this also creates a situation where you can sorry for the beep on the background um kind of giving me the feeling that you need to back up a little bit you know right? when, a, when a when a car goes like beep 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 uh, not a car a truck beep 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 it's backing up right so you might need to back up a little bit from the situation in order to get some clarity. And then after all, I feel like this will be a great thing because I feel like it will create space for healing and will create space to come on, come on ground or release this relationship with love. Whatever you got to do, just take your time. The card for this week is power. I really like that. Um, what I'm feeling here with the with the two bears over here, I kind of feel like some of us might feel a little bit of Gemini, a little bit two-faced this week. Um, you might be um, feeling happy and then all of a sudden feel a little bit down or feel very tired. Um, but I do see you regaining your power and I do see you protecting your own energy. So I definitely feel some of us will be retreating. Some of us will be giving or showing or, or uh, standing up for themselves and showing um, very strong boundaries. 
letting people know what's okay and what's not okay. Um, that might be for some of y'all the screaming, <laughs> the putting people in their place. Um, but that again will be something that's long overdue. So you probably have been bottling that stuff up or somebody else have been bottling that stuff up and it's long overdue for them to release that energy. Whatever is happening, it needs to be released. It's a great thing that's released before the end of the year. I do see that... Um, it's very important for you to nurture your inner child. So there might be some things popping up to the surface connecting to your inner child. And all of a sudden I, I, get, I straight away think about the Harry Potter um, thing again where I believe it's Marcel. I don't know for sure. But he gets the screaming letter from his mom. Um, so there might be someone having some troublesome issues or, or conversations that are uncomfortable with their mother. Of course, it's not for all of you. Or some of you might have some issues with your children. Um, but that's coming up. So that's the overall energy. It does feel very like... Uh, it feels like you will be empowered at the end of the week. You feel like... Things are moving into a better direction. You are more in control of the direction you want to go into. It feels very good. There wasn't the deck that I wanted to use, but let's see. We got number nine, suffering in silence. And we got number three, heartache and loss. Yes. So, um... What these cards are actually telling me is that I feel like this week will be a week where some of us will be retreating. Um, but I feel like there will be more clarity. So yeah, the, the week will start off foggy. There will be a possibility that we don't know which direction to move into when it comes to certain either plans, uh, situations with people um, but I feel like we will be climbing out on top of it we are at the ending of a cycle we hear the beeping again nothing ever happens on purpose when you're doing a reading ever by the way ever so everything could be a sign um, especially if it feels like one so I feel like in this situation again uh, you needed to back up a little bit and after backing up I feel like you will get some clarity about the situation you will be able to see things from a different perspective which makes it easier for you to empathize with the people that you connect with but also to have more compassion for yourself and I kind of feel like you will be having a moment this month um, this month December, but also this week, so maybe this from this week up until the end of this year, you will be having moments where you will be looking back at this year like, what just happened? How the hell did I survive this? And especially, I feel like some of y'all might be um, too focused on your losses or too focus on, focused on uh, what doesn't feel good right now. And I feel that this is coming to the surface for a reason. Um, because this is your opportunity to set things straight. To plan. To revisit. To look at things from a different perspective. And to change your energy around. We got here. This. And she got the hands like she's diving. She's about to go diving deep into some energy. We got the... The belt on her heart chakra, like the heart belt on her uh, solar plexus chakra. So I kind of feel like some of y'all might feel like you're not in control when it comes to a certain relationship or when it comes to relationships. You might have had some news um, with all the letters that I, all the mail and all the owls that I see, uh, I saw coming through. Um, and you might have had some news that you didn't really like that much. Or that made you feel very uncomfortable or disempowered. Um, and I hear for some, it will be a bitter pill to swallow. Thank you. Let me see what we got here. Got this beautiful new deck. With, uh, how is it called? Everyday Witch. I really like it. Beautiful tarot. Okay. So let's see what we got for this week. We got the King of Swords. Oh, you? Yes. Yes. Like this. Um, then we got the Ten of Swords. And we got the Seven of Pentacles. Yes. 
I don't want to put the glare of the light in there. Okay, so what this is telling me about our week is that I kind of feel mm, that it is very important for us to uh, take the lead this week and to make sure that we do whatever is is needed to get all the information we need to make a decision on certain relationships certain projects certain business endeavors is what i'm hearing certain business endeavors um so you might need to do some research and you might need to trust your intuition i kind of feel like your intuition will flow more freely we got the cat sitting there over there and the cat looks really relaxed so i definitely feel like um the energy uh, is more freely you might need to clean up a little bit you see the cat cleaning itself so i kind of feel like you might need to pay some attention to energy clearing clearing your energy out using some sage uh, using some flow Florida water. I said that's really funny, but I, but you understand what I'm saying here. Um, um, in order for you to get your mind straight, so yes, some of you might feel cloud. Uh, like there's a cloudy energy there. You might not know which direction to go into. If you are doubting which direction you need to go in or feel a little bit foggy or what I explained in the beginning of the video, make sure that you clear your energy field because probably the, the issue is really inside of your energy field. And as soon as you clear it up and do some research, uh, maybe you watch some videos, motivational videos, maybe read a book, maybe have a good conversation with somebody you care about and whose opinion you trust, someone you see as either wise or intelligent or, or compassionate, that can give you some clear insights on which directions to move into um because i definitely feel like it's important for you to get more clarity before you make a decision with the ten of swords over here uh, i kind of feel like um like i said in the beginning some of y'all might have some screaming uh done at you um and i feel like this some especially those of us i say us <laughs> those of us who have not had who have had an issue with keeping healthy clear boundaries um might have their boundaries crossed again this week so the yelling situation might be someone crossing your boundary someone might be like leaving you dumping all their bullshit up on you I'm going to say it like this. You're, they're bullshit up on you and leave you with it. Um, but I definitely feel like this will be the end of that situation. This doesn't go for all of us. I know. But I do know that I need to say this. For some of us. I want some clarity on that. For some of us, we might end up in a situation where... Um, we actually want to get out of the situation with this person. Um, out of the situation... It could be work for some of y'all, or it could be definitely really, really a relationship where you feel betrayed, where this person is like maybe verbally um, uh, and uh, emotionally or energetically dumping energy on you or dumping words up on you that you perceive as low vibrational or are actually really low vibrational. Um, might have something to do with a child. We got that child card falling out there um or your inner child uh, this person might be triggering your inner child and you might feel like you can't move or you know know which direction to go into that's the fogginess that i felt yes thank you um and it's very important for you to keep a clear mind when it comes to which direction to go into time to burn some bridges you got a decision to make here you got a decision to make um which direction you are going into and with this card here i kind of feel like you need to go the distance you need to like burn some bridges you need to cross over this like hurdle uh, this obstacle in your way there's a there is a path for you you could choose the easy road or the high like the high road there the high road hmm. the easy road or the road further down like you see this i kind of feel like for this one, yeah, for some people this will mean the, the high road, but in some, for some I feel like it will mean that you would need to do more work, it would take you longer. So I feel like it's actually really clear, so the directions or the thing that you might be doubting between are either like really, really um, um, opposite energies, it's not like, hmm, should I wear... Um, 
shoes or should I wear flip-flops? It's not that type of energy. It's more like, uh, should I move to the Bahamas or should I... Or should I go study in London? Yeah? It's a big, like, opposite direction type of energy. And I do feel that whatever you're going to choose um, is going to create a lot of well-being, abundance for you financially, financial flow or happiness, overall happiness, joy. Um, that's the energy that I'm getting here. Um, uh, overall, I see that with this card here, that your plans or whatever you're working on is not ready to come to fruition yet. So it might not be your time, your week to make a decision yet. I feel like there still needs to come more information to you with this card here. It's also giving me um, that you still need to research something. You still need to get some knowledge. You still need to get some information. And that information is coming to you this week. So I definitely feel like this week will there will be a lot of things either revealed coming to the surface you will get some messages you will get some connections you will get to have some conversations there will be things sparking your intuition left and right but you need to be able to trust your intuition i don't know what's happening here yo i just said this <laughs> You just need to trust your intuition. See, trust the niggle. That's what it says. Trust the niggling feeling. What's that feeling in your belly trying to tell you? Which direction do you need to go in? You need to learn to trust and then take a leap of faith forward. Um, and I, I feel like you need to choose the direction. Of course, you're a free soul, so you can choose whatever you want. But... I feel like you should choose the direction that makes you most joyful, that makes you most happy and feel free and feel flowing. And feel... I also feel like it needs to be an adventure. It needs to be something you either have not done yet or you, someone you um, haven't been haven't felt that deep with or haven't gone that deep with. Or I feel like some of you might be at the brink of like either transitioning from a very like different place like i said moving to the bahamas or moving to london so some of you might be thinking about moving to a different country um and are afraid to like should i do this i definitely feel like you should follow that adventurous feeling and move forward with your plans but but before you move forward first make sure you do some more research and then move forward yeah so you can tell the universe yes i'm going to do this well now i need to like look into more information which direction to go into there's also a lot of healing possibilities for this for this week i'm seeing here breaking the chain uh, so there will be um i feel like this will be a very uh, this week the week we are in also was a very or is a very strong week when it comes to insights downloads information coming to all of to all to all of us and i feel that this energy will be moving uh through next week too um I feel there's just so much happening and I feel like there's just so many sides that I can touch up on and so many so many um, subjects I need to talk about. I feel like some of y'all are dealing with very toxic patterns in relationships that I need to address like really quickly. That's what I'm getting from my, from my guides. Um, and I feel like there's just a lot of energy things, shifts happening. So some of y'all might feel a little bit motion sick. Like there's just too much happening. And, and that might be the fogginess and the, the strange feeling. And, and the, yeah, that might be it. And for some of us, we might be going to have some... I keep saying we. So that probably means <laughs> going to be one of y'all. No! Um, some of us going to have some uh, communication clashes or some, um, well, it's a good thing because those communication clashes will end up in a very deep healing, a very big possibility for deep healing and reconnecting with uh, both that person and with yourself and figuring out which direction you want to go into from that moment on. What do we need to pay attention to to make this a, the best week possible? Thank you. Synchronicities. The signs. 
all things are unfolding in divine timing and divine purpose and the universe really wants us your guides your higher self you even if you don't know yet really wants you to move into the new phase the new state of being and in order to do so i see that you will be attracting either like-minded people either either uh, opportunities that you have been trying to manifest so i feel like you have been from your like deepest source at the beginning of maybe 2019 i think until april you have been like putting things in motion um and asking for certain things and they, those have been manifested or those will be manifested and are now like you are now starting to see a glimpse of it you need to pull it in there though i hear you need to still pull it in you need to still do the work you still need to like 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 make sure that this opportunity rolls in rather quicker than later um time to retreat though for all of us and do some meditation get some clarity on which direction to go into this could be um ending something ending certain relationships especially when they're toxic this could be moving to a different country but i feel like some of y'all are at the brink of making very big decisions or very big life-changing there's a very big life-changing energy here I know you see my face all serious and stuff, uh, and the words too, but over here, it feels calm. I feel collected. I feel like I have more clarity. That sounds strange because in the beginning I didn't, but now I do feel. I feel I have more clarity in um, maybe not really the, the direction things are going in, but, but I feel... There's a pool of clarity of like, okay, I see what's happening there. I see like I needed to see things from a different perspective. I feel like we've changed a lot, all of us. Um, and we are about to change even more. So yeah, this is the reading that I got for you for this week. I'm sending you a lot of love and good energy and a lot of blessings. And I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful week.